We're here with Ricky Delosario. And I have to tell you, Ricky, you started at Blue Harris. Eddie Boyd and Friends, the time is now. Yes. Oh, it was tough. I mean, I was kind of the guy who never get to sit down and say, what's up? We used to be excited at each other, you know? So it's hard to get their, their attention in the beginning, but uh, it took a while, but I got them. I got them. But you know, he had some really funny Asian jokes and like, can I pick them? Sure, yes. Yeah. Why not? They're true. Come on now. Come on. Okay. There is a way to do it. Have to tell you. Have to tell you. Okay. So you Remember you talked about all these people on Facebook, right? They always just get your food. Yes. Yeah. 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 We took a picture oh, you kidding me. of food at every meal, and we kept track of how many appetizers deserved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm I'm it. I had a lady in the audience when I said that joke one time, though. I say, yeah, I take pictures of rice. <laughs> I'm like, rice? Homeless people take pictures of rice. I mean, who can, everyone can eat rice. Who can care about rice? Do the expensive stuff like lobster or filet mignon, but rice. You guys, the homeless guy tuned in his corporate box, and I got some rice, man. Take a look, you know. But it, 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 it's true. It's true. It's true. But you know, I had, I had, you know, it's hard to it's hard well, no one typically see a lot of comedians do very many Asian jokes. No, you don't. And see, no, I didn't play both sides of the fence. Oh, my God, what's that mean? Asian half wine. Did so. anybody ask me to do No. It depends what, you know, what time of the night it is. <laughs> Who I'm with. It's my wife, normally. I'm sorry. Not normally. Oh, wait. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh, we got a comedian. Yeah. Oh, I've been a comedian since 1995. Yeah, but it's been uh, back in 2000 for about nine years. So I started out. Okay. Yeah, I, I was actually on Comic View. Um, I was in the very first half of the movie. Oh my god. Yeah, I did a lot of things. Um, but I had a lot more. Uh, so I'm more of a blue comedian. So now I'm trying to come in and get a little clean, you know, so I'm trying to clean up the act and make it real nice. And so, so you can be funny and clean. Yeah, you can be funny and clean. So I'm trying to tell that it's tough to do. I know. What made you want to be funny? You just have to clear up the hands. Right. That's not for me. What made you decide to come back? I miss the stage, you know? You know, interviewed by you, uh -huh. you, know, you do, you know? Yeah, miss the stage, miss the people, the response, the love you get, it's such a dick, you know? So if I'm coming back and I have the opportunity to make a little piece of it and do a craft, it's really considered one of the toughest things that you can do. It really is. Because you know, you know, every audience is different. It's, just, it's not like, you know, they do demographics of your audience before they come in before you go on stage, you know? Right? Yeah, well, for example, I came out here and I started dancing in front of the camera and all I saw was this. I'm not really listening to this. I said, okay, well, you're going to give this to Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I think, I would say comedians have to be pretty yeah, intelligent because they can think really quick. Sure, exactly, exactly. exactly. I was able to like, you know, talk to a few people in the crowd. Well, I could be a little bit more. You know, so uh, it, was, it was a good night, you know. I, I got them warmed up, which was, was my job to do. Right. Yes. And we got and we have the information about the and I said the job is tough. I have and, uh, to eat. Okay, we're just like, we're going to eat. Except when you're making a million shows. Oh, what? The cable guy. Yeah, that's a little too much money. I don't mind, but... Okay, like, see the party first. Let's see what it is. Oh, jeez. I do 10 shows a year. That's about all you're going to see. We do 10 shows a year. Oh, you want to say just do more? No, I do 10 shows a year. And the rest of the time, make it easy. See Doom and all over the place. That's all I'm 10 shows. That's all I see. Catch my 10. So, is it going to be? Okay, and Annie, where do you see this? Yeah, you've had a lot of years going into that. Yeah, that's more one. That's too big a comedian. No, my, my, my goal is I, I, I love to tell stories when I do comedy. So I, I think some comedic acting is my future. I definitely don't want to get away from comedy. So I continue to do comedy, but um, I like to do stories and, and do characters. So I think some of the sketch comedy thing would be perfect. And I think some of the best actors actually work with the comedy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So who would you like to work with? Jamie Foxx, I would say. He's, he's yeah. talented all around. Yeah. He's, he's talented. Singing, comedy, I mean, just guys. He'd be on Robert. Of 
course, some of the biggest actors in the game. Like, you know, and, uh, you know, Matt Damon, you know, any of those guys. Literally anybody. You know, I'll, I'll work with um, Fred Flynn right now if you call me up. You add me to the clock. That fight made for Asia. It's kind of hard to see that clock. It's too big for us. <laughs> Easier for us to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you were to audition for that right now, yeah. okay. what would you do? For flavor? Yeah. Uh, uh, any, any of them. Any of them. I would just bust out all my different characters. I would have to rush me. I would have to rush me. I would have to rush me. Every Asian, Japanese.